Hello and welcome to Bradley's Baking Basics. Now for our first episode, I teamed up with the Charities Aid Foundation. Now they work with some of the UK's biggest brands such as O2, BT, Sainsbury's and some of the UK's biggest charities including Cancer Research UK, the RSPCA and Save the Children. Now you may have heard of the Giving Tuesday campaign. Last year it raised over £6,000 every minute and won the world record for the most money raised online in 24 hours. And this year, they want to go even bigger and better. The Giving Tuesday campaign are launching a brand new website on June 28th, and it's going to be filled with loads of videos showing you how easy it is to do great stuff and raise money for charity. So whether you're running in a marathon and you're looking for some training tips, whether you just want to make the most out of a local charity shop and get really thrifty, or if you're planning a bake sale, there'll also be a video from myself showing how easy it is to bake some great cakes and raise money for charity. So, let's get on with the show. To get started, you'll need butter, sugar, eggs, and self-raising flour. Now, when it comes to the recipe, there's actually a really simple way to remember what quantities to use. Get equal parts of butter, sugar, and self-raising flour. Weigh them out into ounces, and then take that amount and half it for the number of eggs you need. So, if you're making cupcakes, four ounces is usually perfect for butter, sugar, and self-raising flour. Half of four is two, so just use two eggs. Or if you're making a larger cake, I'll use 10 ounces of butter, 10 ounces of sugar, 10 ounces of self-raising flour, and five eggs. Simple, easy to remember, and it works every time. Now to prepare the cake mix, there are two methods that you can use. The all-in-one method, or the creaming method. For the all-in-one method, simply place all your ingredients into a mixing bowl, and then beat on high for about five minutes. I find this method is best if you have an electric mixer, otherwise it takes quite a while to get the mixture smooth. But if you want to make sure your cakes are extra light and fluffy, I'd recommend the creaming method. Cream together the butter and sugar until light and fluffy. Beat in your eggs, and then add the flour a bit at a time, continuing to mix until smooth. This is also the point where you can get creative and add in any additional flavours. I definitely recommend adding a teaspoon of vanilla extract for a great tasting cake. Line a baking tin with greaseproof paper and then grease the sides to stop the cake from sticking. Add in your cake mix and you're good to go. This will also work for cupcakes. Just remember that no matter what you're baking the cake in, try not to fill it over halfway so that the cake has plenty of space to rise. Bake the cakes at 180 degrees Celsius until light and golden. Now obviously it will depend on the size how long it takes. For cupcakes you want about 10 to 15 minutes, or for a larger cake about 30 to 40 minutes. The easiest way to check is to get a knife or a skewer, pop it into the middle of the cake when you think it's done, and it should come out clean. See? I told you it was easy. You can decorate your cake with icing or cream to give it a professional finish. Using fruit at the bottom of the pan is also a great way to give it a bit of decoration when you turn it over. Or for a real showstopper, you can get creative and transform your cake into a work of art. Although I think this one might be a bit too cute to eat. <laughs> there you go, baking has never been so easy. So now it's your turn to get creative and show me what you can come up with. You'll be able to see my baking video and tons more on the Giving Tuesday website which launches on June 28th. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe to Bradley's Baking Bible and I'll see you next week for another episode of Bradley's Baking Basics.